As the General Mahamatra, I have to display the might of the Academia. Whatever enemy we face, I will give it my all. In battle, as with delivering judgment, the righteous must prevail. And so we must approach every battle with great caution. I am armed with the determination to uphold the rules. There is no battle I cannot win. I've always thought of books as one of the great inventions. Once a law is written down and compiled into a legal codex, it no longer exists only in the words spoken by the lawmaker. It has its own independent existence. Only then does the ability to exercise true judgment arise. Because all people must be judged equally, even the lawmakers themselves. There are a lot of storybooks here, but make sure to return them to the shelves after you've finished reading them. And whatever you do, never leave a book on top of a dinner plate. Hmm? Why, you ask? Well, for the simple reason that it just won't go down well. That rabble we fought sure picked the wrong crew to mess with. I'd say they won't make that mistake again. But we already made sure of that. With my skills and experience on your team, they don't stand a chance, no matter what they throw at us. I don't have eyes in the back of my head, though, so just make sure you got my back. Oh, so many books. Hmm, let's see here. Ha, <laughs> get a load of this one. This story is about a mercenary whose only skill is that he's an exceptional liar. He goes and gets himself hired by three different employers, all of which are mutual enemies. And so, he's forced to spin ever more ludicrous lies to keep himself alive and keep the moro rolling in. <laughs> you know what? I'll read on. This looks pretty fun. You go ahead and get some rest. I want to survey this area first. We need to get some sort of security system in place, just in case of a surprise attack. Oh yeah! I'm guessing you've got all your essential supplies on you. If you're going to put them down, make sure it's somewhere everyone can see them. Oh, you want to come with me? Sure, that'll save us some time. All right, come with me and stick close. How are you coping with the battles so far? I can't always check how you're faring in the middle of a fight. Hopefully you're not pushing yourself too hard. If any of our foes give you a hard time, send them my way. I had a phase once where I did exactly what you're doing now. Constantly exploring dangerous domains and confronting powerful enemies. But what drove me to do it wasn't any of the rules from the Knights of Favonius Handbook. It was my personal convictions. Conviction helps you rise above your wounds and fatigue, and guides you forward into the light of dawn. Sometimes a throwaway comment in a conversation outside of the battle can be the decisive factor in who wins and who loses. So even in the downtime between battles, I intend to stay alert and ready. Leave the intelligence gathering to me. You should rest. expecting to see weird and wonderful things in this place. But so far, zilch. Ugh, no funky looking critters with antennae on their heads. No plants full of funky smelling juice. Even the monsters here are all ones I've seen before. If this carries on, I guess I can forget about trying to find any new cocktail ingredients here. Uh, hero defeats dragon. Um, princess defeats dragon. Prince gets defeated by princess. Ugh. I thought I'd be able to find at least one story about mixology here. But nope. Just a bunch of fairy tales. Ooh, huh? Wait. Here's one. Hmm. Hero convinces dragon to defend kingdom by playing dragon with alcohol. Puh. What a load of baloney. Phew. Finally a chance to put our feet up. Here, <laughs> drink this. It's water with some salt and nectar in it. It makes a great recovery drink after intense exercise. 
The flavor is nicely balanced with a touch of salt to offset the sweetness. Go ahead, take a sip, and you'll feel a burst of energy plus a boost to your mental clarity. Actually, you know what? Forget all that. Just try it for yourself. What's that, you say? Uh, I could have sworn I just heard you invite me to go monster fighting in this domain with you. Strange. I slept perfectly well last night. Why am I having auditory hallucinations? Dory Sangama Bay is just a straightforward businesswoman. So let me put it to you this way. Why would any business person take such a huge gamble on their own life unless there was, oh, I don't know, a few dozen million mora to be made? Here's my counteroffer. A custom-made Domain Delver survival kit just for you. Great value for your Mora and available at a discounted price for a limited time only. If there really was such a thing as a miracle potion that could cure all disease, I'm sure it would be auctioned off and sold for an astronomical price. But in this fairy tale, the fairy gives her magic potion to the prince for free. She has no business sense at all. <sighs> If you want my opinion, praying to a fairy isn't the answer. Better to go out and make some mora. Let me guess what you need most right now. A medicinal drink that can restore your full strength in one sip? Or maybe a cream that can instantly heal your wounds? How'd I do? All this and more available right here, right now. Buy in bulk for big discounts. Don't let the price put you off. You're paying for all the hard work I and my private associates put in to bring these goods all the way from Sumeru. I didn't realize quite how strong the enemies that you have to fight are. If you've invited me here, it must be because you're confident that my skills will come in handy. So, no need to be coy, all right? I'm here to help however you need. I've always felt that a library full of books is just like a shelf full of perfumes. It's worth taking the time to study and appreciate each one until you find the one that's perfect for you. That experience of holding on to hope as you search for the one, it's a beautiful thing, worth treasuring. Oh, you look tired. Need a break? I tend to find that distracting the mind by focusing on something else is an excellent way to relax. We could chat about today's news stories, for instance, or anything else you'd like to talk about, of course. Even if an enemy is strong enough to fend me off for today, that doesn't faze me. Sooner or later, they will get their comeuppance. My vengeance may not always be swift, but it is always final. In your case, though, I seriously doubt there are many enemies out there who have what it takes to send you away bearing a grudge. What will become of the wicked aristocracy after being ousted by the Valiant Knights? Will they flee into the dark woods while the nation rejoices, wallowing in self-pity? Or will they beg for mercy, only to skulk in some corner of the city, sharpening their knives? Fairy tales never answer these questions. They just assume that eternal peace is a given once the villains have been defeated. There's no rush to get to the next battle. It's critical to fully recover your strength if you want to stand the best chance of securing victory. Why don't we take some time to review the enemy threat and fine-tune our plan of attack? In my experience, the more thorough the plan, the sweeter the satisfaction when it all finally comes together. This is a nice little challenge, isn't it? Getting out into the world with your friends, exploring all its nooks and crannies. It's exactly the sort of thing you should be doing while you're young. Back when I fell into those strange ruins, I didn't have a single other person to talk to. I only had myself to rely on. Now that was a true challenge, let me tell you. <sighs> that said, I wouldn't recommend that experience to anyone. I know that many of the younger generation see me as a sort of legendary figure. Why my stories and my accomplishments can even be found in Kosharawar textbooks. But it does seem that people aren't quite used to having a legend living among them. No one takes my courses or pays attention to my research. Even securing research funding can be a struggle. If I were lucky enough to have one of my predecessors here in the flesh, I'd be waiting on her hand and foot, serving her tea, massaging her shoulders, 
asking her all sorts of questions. <sighs> what happened to this generation? Where is their inquisitiveness? Where is their respect? You youngsters need to make sure you're getting enough exercise. You don't want to be huffing and puffing while your elders are still going strong. Why, this is a walk in the park compared to the field studies that Haravatat used to send us out on. <sighs> Never mind. No point in dredging up the past. Go on, then. I suppose you ought to rest if you really are tired. I've seen too many junior scholars ruin their health for the sake of their academic pursuits. Let that be a cautionary tale. Those who fail to heed the advice of their elders do so at their own peril. <laughs>